So I have to tell you that I think I've seen Insurgent probably like a hundred times right now because it's playing on HBO. Oh, is and it? every time it's playing, I, I click it. So even though I've seen it so many times because I just like to watch it over and over, I never get tired of it. But the one scene that's my favorite is the scene where in Candor you um, are confessing what happened with Will. The truth serum. And it's just because it's such a touching scene. So what scene in Allegiant do you think will have that great of an impact on its audience? There's a scene where Triss gets to relive her mother's childhood in a way and her mother's progression in her on her path. And I think that that's touching because I think it'll in, entice people to think about their own lives and their own memories and those people who are important to them if there's anyone that they would like to jump in the shoes of and time travel backwards to witness what they went through. Mm -hmm. The memory tabs are really cool. There are so many other cool things like the drones, new uniforms, um, the... What was it where there the surveillance technology? So there's so many cool things. What was the most fun thing to kind of explore in this world? The bubble ship aspect was really fun because Mizo and Ansel were on a gimbal for like a week straight being thrashed about and thrown upside down <laughs> and it sort of felt like we were on a roller coaster the whole time. I think the bubble ship is a good example of something that looks maybe like nothing on set, but then later after post it looks so cool. Yeah. Was there anything else that super impressed you when you finally saw the finished product? The wall scene was really impressive because when we were filming it, we were in fact scaling a wall, but we were in a parking lot <laughs> in you know, some random large parking lot in Atlanta. So to see that translated into this giant landscape and giant environment that had the trees and the, the it put it put it in perspective and the dimensional world was so much larger. Mm -hmm. That was a neat experience. Okay, so I was actually going to ask you about that scene because it's my favorite scene in the movie. I think a mixture with the choreography, the stunts, and the music, it just looks super badass. And I love the fact that like all six of you are just running super hard straight to the wall and then you shoot your grappling hooks and you're running vertically. I mean, I've been asking all the other co-stars about that, but no one told me that it was just shot in some random parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> we were shot in a park. I mean, the running part was shot in a field, and then the wall scaling part was in a parking lot. And you're actually scaling the wall. It's we not were, a stunt yeah. Person. We were in harnesses. There's a few shots that were the stunt um, men and women, but most of them were us, and we're in harnesses and just laying backwards, running up a wall all day. <laughs> Is that easy? It's a lot easier than it looks, yeah. Because <laughs> you don't really have to do anything but match the movement of, of what you're being propelled mm -hmm. to do. I thought that you were going to say, like, it was actually really hard and, like, the worst part of filming. <laughs> no, it was fun. <laughs> what part was the hardest to shoot? What was the, what was the hardest, like, stunt to do? I just don't really enjoy running particularly. <laughs> so the running was not hard so much as it was just um, <laughs> monotonous. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing was really too difficult in this one. I love that in every movie we see like Tris in a different stage. In the first one, she was trying to figure her stuff out. The second one, she was guilty. Now it seems like she's just so confident and she knows what she wants. She knows what she has to do. That's a very good observation. I always found Tris in this last film to be someone who's finally found her confidence and is comfortable in her skin and still has the messiness of being an emotional being. Mm -hmm. But has the confidence to move forward and forge forward um, in a very directed way. Made in Hollywood. Thanks for watching this interview. As always, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. For the next Made in Hollywood interview, click right here. Do it. Click it.